video is about the knowledge of nature by Charlie. Okay. What's your video about? You can tell me. My video is about how Santa got too fat. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's see whose video is the most interesting for today's school holiday project. Yeah. Today's theme is in search of knowledge. Now, knowledge, how much knowledge does a fish have? If something was bad happening to a fish, how long would it remember? Like a bird trying to attack it. What is the memory of a goldfish? Six days? One day? Five minutes? It's all debated here on the Knowledge Farm. The Knowledge Network. Why is this water slightly more green than, say, this water, which is a little bit more gray? And then we go up here where all these reeds are. And there might be a clue. Listen carefully. What was the clue? Why is this water crystal clear? As if you could just drink it. Is it the reeds? Is it the oxygenators? Is it the shade? Hmm, the knowledge network. Now look at that algae. The fish here are growing so fast because they're getting lots of food from the algae. So algae is actually good for fish. So finally, looking at this dump, we're making a little island in the middle to protect the ducks from the foxes. In this epistemology search of knowledge, why do people think sheep are not that smart? And I sure have a hard time catching them. Give us a kiss. Give us a kiss and explain the knowledge of the sheep. Good boy. And why would someone even come up with a word, epistemology? How would you even come up with that? Versus just knowledge. You know, why would an alpaca poo always in a pile? Whereas a sheep will just poo everywhere. Why are you boys so toilet trained? Hey? Eh? Why? That's fantastic. I like to finish up the video with the sounds of nature. Early we found some knowledge beans. What are called knowledge beans? As you eat them, Charlie, eat one. Does that taste like poo? Yeah. Oh, yuck. Hmm? What do you think? Oh. That's it. Spit it out. That's why it's a knowledge bean, because it tastes like poo. Yuck.